This is tutorial number 109, and it covers constraint versus positional assemblies within CATIA v5. Now, what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm just going to give you a little bit of an intro uh, to what we're going to be doing in the uh, following tutorials, and kind of an intro to uh, positional versus constraint uh, assemblies in CATIA. So when you're making your assemblies, there's two different ways you can go about it. You can use constraints to constrain all of your uh, components to make an assembly, and all the constraints are uh, found in here. So you have things such as coincident, contact, offset, angle. So using that, you're able to lock it in. And there's another way you're also able to do that, and that's with positional. So with uh, positional, you'd be using the manipulation and the snapping tool to snap all the components into place. So each of these, uh, there are two different styles of creating assemblies, and each style has its own advantages and disadvantages. So with a fully constrained assembly, what you're able to do is say put all the constraints on there and if it's a moving part you're able to move it around and uh, move it, position it, and you're able to see the travel and whatnot. With a uh, positional uh, assembly, the advantage of that is that when you have a large number of components, uh, replacing one component to another isn't going to create a large problem. So with the constraints though, as you have so many constraints relying on each other, when you replace a component, sometimes it's not going to uh, fully uh, replace from one to another. So you may run into problems uh, with the constraints following from one uh, move to another. So you're going to run into problems. So for larger assemblies, uh, positional is really good. And with the fully constrained, it allows you to see the motion a lot easier and a lot quicker. You're still able to do it with a positional assembly, except that it takes a little bit more time to set it up and move it around. So it depends what the application is, and it even depends on your preference too. So, uh, you know, it this is just like an introduction. It shows you two different ways you're able to uh, decide uh, which ways work for you best. But in the next few tutorials, we're going to be going over all the uh, constraint assembly features, and then we're going to go over the positional assembly features. Then from there, we're going to uh, create the guitar, the entire assembly, using both of those uh, types. So we're going to create the guitar with a positional assembly, and we're going to do it with a constrained assembly. And that concludes our tutorial on the constraint versus positional assemblies within CATIA v5.